I tend to look into cultural and political boundaries and explore you know, ideas in those boundaries. Sometimes it's more obvious, sometimes it's less. Sometimes it's more abstracted, sometimes it's far more illustrative of a political idea or thought. The last post plays on the sort of oscillating colonial trade relations between China and the East India Company at that time over opium. I started looking at the East India Company and at the company man became like the protagonist who travels throughout India and then ventures into China. In this work, it is also referring to the end of the Anglo-Saxon hegemony over China. And there is a moment in the animation where the symbolic figure of the East India Company man sort of explodes. There are moments, I think, in the animation that embody some of these concepts, but it's not necessarily a linear narrative about this whole opium trade. Animations were quite a natural outcome to my process because I work in drawing primarily and um, a lot of the drawings play with the idea of narrative and movement was just a natural outcome. A lot of the murals that I did, a lot of the wall in installations were fairly large and built in layers and that also was very similar to how a lot of the animation work was constructed which was in Photoshop in layers. So I'm interested in taking a form, breaking it apart, and then rebuilding it. It is about transformation for me, whether it is the transformation of a image or a mark or a symbol, or if it's a transformation of a genre or a transformation of a medium, but it is a very core notion that I think stabilizes my practice. 